Deleted, yeah. The obsolete and corrupted heart is for the transgressions against the saviors of the broken brilliance in the now trusted and worthy owl man have been deleted from the negotiations. Yeah. How does it feel, WWE fucktards? How does it feel, dumb bitches? How does it feel, how? All the fucking allegations! The end of handy go, go your dick! The Hardy's paid for the the taping so the Go in a fucking dick made out of fucking made out of fucking used condoms, huh? Before any one of you any one of y'all Get the, get the fucking dumbass notion that the Hardys actually have a stake in the broken gimmick, legally. Once again, this is all speculation. No, I have not read any of the contracts. I have not spoken to any parties involved. So this is just speculation on what is out there. My speculation. Like, the validity cannot be verified. But then again, the these rumor mills, the validity, the validity cannot be verified because they have not spoken to these people. But from what I can speculate, so the Hardys paid a fucking low budget amount, a fucking low budget amount for the final deletion, which was actually very surprising to me. I thought I thought it was. At least, like you know, at least like ten to twelve thousand dollars in that one. Two thousand five hundred dollars for final deletion? Really? That's not too much. But yeah, so who published it? Who published it? When you write a book, when you write a book. You you pay for the ink cartridge, you pay for the paper, you pay for the hard cover, cover for the first copy, and then you take it to your publisher, and then your publisher publishes it. Guess who owns the intellectual property of that book? It's not you. It's not you. It's the publisher. Same thing in research. If you're, let's say you're, you're with a university, you're a prestigious university, and you and your team Conduct a research. Okay. You will be credited as you and whoever's involved will be credited as participants in conducting this research. But the data itself, the data and the IP of this research belongs to your institution. Even if you pay for the resources, you paid for the lab coats. You paid, you know, you paid for like, you know, all, all the material. You spent all the time. The, the intellectual property of this research goes to your publisher. This has always been the case. Always. Michael Bay made that stupid ass Transformers movie. Who gets it? It's the production company. A lot of people made these Disney cartoons. Okay, a lot of people made these Disney cartoons. Gilbert Gottfried wasn't wasn't Aladdin for fuck's sake. Does he ha have any ownership in the Aladdin series? No. It's owned by Disney. 
No, he paid for his own maintenance. He might have had some out-of-pocket costs. And, 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 and. You guys keep forgetting. Because Matt Hardy, I see what you're doing now, bitch. Look, look, man, bro. And I was one of, I bought your fucking merchandise. I bought your, I bought your fucking merchandise, man. I was such a big fan of the Broken Gimmick. I still am a big fan of the Broken Gimmick. As it is intended to be. Not in WWE. I see what you're doing. What I see is you're playing the victim. And you're, you're just trying to fuel the flawed narrative. Okay. You paid for final deletion. You maybe you paid for the leader decay. Maybe you paid for the entirety of total non-stop deletion. Who was the owner of the company and who was the majority owner? Over 90% owner of the company at that point. Was it Anthem? No. It was Dixie Carter. So if anyone of y'all have a problem, go blame a problem, go blame Dixie Carter. Dixie Carter sold the company to Anthem and Anthem said, wait a minute, what the fuck is this shit? No! No! This is, these are our IP! This is our intellectual property! And, look, it is very obvious right now, even from the people who are released, it is very obvious right now, Anthem Media is not going to be as lenient, uh, Dixie Carter, do you really... Do you realize how lenient she was? How easy going she was? And that ultimately led to the downfall of Impact Wrestling. And, ha and she had to end up, she was forced to sell it. And it turns out selling it was one of the best things to ever happen to the company. Like in, at least in, in, in recent history. Okay, and look, all you people, all you dumb people say that, Hey, Matt, Matt Hardy... Man, go, man, go, 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 go to an elephant brothel and give each and every elephant a fucking rim job over there, okay? And eat, eat that shit like you haven't eaten in fucking 80 fucking nights and 80 fucking days, you fucking dumbasses. The, the, the Hardy Actu the Hardy actually uh, p were, the, were the only reason that, you know, like, you know, that were keeping Impact Wrestling afloat. Okay. Okay. The Hardys are keeping Impact Impact Wrestling afloat. No. Impact Wrestling. Yeah. He kept Impact Wrestling afloat. Oh, man. I, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. Impact Wrestling afloat. Yeah, the, the, the deletion thing was the only thing keeping Impact Wrestling yeah, then, how, then, then why did Dixie have to sell TNA? Why did Dixie have to sell Impact Wrestling if the Hardys were keeping it afloat? Whose fault is that? Anthem's fault? All the bad, bad business decisions, courtesy of like the, the, the 92 or, or how many, how much ever percent shareholder she was. All the bad decisions. You know, from a lot of people's perspectives. No, the Hardys did not keep it afloat. Impact Wrestling still crashed. And Anthem Media stepped in and, and saved it. Anthem Media said, so in that sense, Anthem Media has done much more for Impact Wrestling with that one transa transaction than, than the broken gimmick has done in the six months it has been alive. Or, or in the eight months it has been alive. So, that's why, like, you, pe people like Pro Wrestling Unlimited and all the bullshit. Excuse me. You're not, be you're not being objective about it. Be fucking objective about it. And if anyone of you want to refute this, come at me with, come at me with refuting facts and see how I countered, countered those facts because I've heard them all. I've heard them all. If you don't like the truth, that's a different thing. If you don't like the truth, if you don't like what's happening, 
But it is the truth. That's a different thing. But at least admit it's the truth. Admit Impact Wrestling has won. Because this is what I think. If Matt Hardy had to go to court, he would have he would have taken Impact to court if this was such a black and white deal. Matt Hardy would not have... Would not... Matt Hardy would not have... Like, this, this, is just, this is just what I feel. Matt Hardy would not have actually, like, you know... Like, you know, tried to negotiate so much that at one point it, it sounded desperate. He would have taken it. He would have said, listen, Ed, we have a black and white situation here. Either you give us the gimmick or we're taking you to court. No words said. And a budding company who just bought out Impact would go to court. Okay? Do you think Ed Norton could afford that PR? That they just bought the company and now they're going to court. This would, have not, this would not have been good for their PR. If Matt Hardy really wanted the broken gimmick, he would, he would have done that. But no, he didn't. This tells you, no, it's not that Good Samaritan bullshit, no. It's not the Good Samaritan bullshit, no. Impact Wrestling, perhaps, ha Impact Wrestling got Dish Network to, to back down. Like that. Like that. Dish Network to back down. Dish Network is a big company. Impact Wrestling got them to back down. This means that Impact Wrestling has something solid in their hands. But you people are too afraid to admit it. Live in denial. Live in denial. Okay. Now. No, no, no. no. Impact Ed Norton said, I am done talking about this. The doors are closed. WWE fans, do some If you can, do something about it. No, don't break any laws. Do not break any laws. Don't do anything that would le that would be considered a crime or an accomplice to a crime. But within the legal boundaries, do something about it if you can. If you think impact uh, the anthem is such a weak company, do do something about it. Well, what are you gonna do about it? What what are you gonna do about it? What you are powerless. Admit. You are powerless!